First at 530, activists at the Capitol today blasted a late move to outlaw puberty blockers for teenagers. Yeah, these blockers can lead to gender transition. 11 Lives Doug Richards is live at the Capitol tonight with more on what this bill does and how this happened. Doug. Yes, uh, how it happened is certainly part of the story. The Georgia legislature uh, has had a reputation over the years for taking uh, sort of innocuous legislation and then slamming it with controversial language. Uh, and that's exactly what happened here today. Transgender activists were back at the Capitol after spending much of last year's session fighting legislation to limit medical treatment for transgender teens. Republicans passed that legislation, but last year they chose not to outlaw puberty blockers. Hormone therapy is incredibly positive, helpful for kids that are transgender. I mean, it is truly life-saving. But now Senate Republicans want to outlaw puberty blockers for teenagers. Senator Ben Watson says research convinced him. But to make irreversible changes and potential side effects and deleterious problems relating to the puberty blockers outweighs any potential benefit. That angered transgender activists. They say puberty blockers allow teens to pause their gender development while they grapple with their gender identity. They were also angered by the method. This week, a Senate committee heard HB 1170, a bill that would require government buildings to stock medication that could treat drug overdoses. The bill passed the House last month by a vote of 166 to 1. But then Senator Watson proposed an amendment to outlaw puberty blockers for teens. Committee Republicans passed that by an 8-5 to five party line vote. Democrats said they fouled up a good bill by making it an anti-trans bill. It was a great bill that really could have saved lots of Georgians. And now we've attached another bill that undoubtedly will hurt children. So this bill uh, will have some obstacles to get passed. It would need to pass the full Senate, and then it would need to go back to the House. And this bill already passed the House once, but the time that it passed before, it was merely a bill that involved uh, drug overdoses, uh, and it was very popular at that time. It will not be so popular if it gets there again. Uh, we are live at the Capitol tonight. Back to you. Doug, thank you so much.